guess what time it is? Mama's story time. Yay! Well, hello, my darlings. Welcome to story time. It's lovely to see you today. We've got a neat story today. Have you heard of the three billy goats gruff? This is an exciting one. Might be a little bit scary. Let's get started. The three billy goats gruff lived at the foot of a tall mountain. Winter is on its way and the grass is getting thin, said the eldest gruff brother one day. We must go up the mountain where the grass is thick and green to make ourselves fat. I will go first, said the smallest brother, because I am the slowest. Good idea. Off you go, said his two older brothers. We'll be along soon. The little billy goat gruff trotted up the mountain path until he came to a bridge over a deep ravine. Mm. Under that bridge lived a troll, a very ugly troll with eyes as big as dinner plates and a nose as long as a ski pole. He's very ugly, isn't he? The little billy goat gruff stepped onto the bridge. He went trip, trap, trip, trap, clippity clop, clippity clop, hop and skip, hop and skip over the rickety bridge. What do you think is going to happen? No. Who's that tripping over my bridge? roared the troll. It is I, the littlest billy goat gruff. I'm going up to the mountain to make myself fat for winter. Oh no you're not. I'm coming to gobble you up, said the troll. Oh please don't. I'm too small. I won't even make a snack for you, said the little billy goat gruff. My, my, my brother will be along soon and, and he's much bigger than I. Dear. Well, all right, said the troll. Scram! Sometime later, the middle billy goat gruff said, It's time I left for the mountainside. I'm not as fast as you. All right, said the big billy goat gruff. You go, I'll be along soon. The middle billy goat gruff trotted up the mountain path until he came to the bridge over the deep ravine. He went trip, trap, trip, trap, clippity clop, clippity clop, hop and skip, hop and skip over the rickety bridge. Who's that clopping over my bridge? roared the troll. It is I. The middle billy goat gruff. I'm going up the mountain to make myself fat for the winter. Oh no you're not. I'm coming to gobble you up, said the troll. Oh please don't. I would hardly make a mouthful for you, said the billy goat gruff. My brother will be along soon and he's much bigger than I. Well all right, said the troll. Scram! Later that day, the biggest billy goat gruff set off for the mountainside. He trotted up the mountain path until he came to the bridge over the deep ravine. He went trip tromp, trip tromp, clippity clomp, clippity clomp, hop and stomp, hop and stomp over the rickety bridge. Sounds different than the other two, doesn't he? Who's that stomping over my bridge? roared the troll. It is I, great big billy goat gruff. I'm going up the mountain to join my brothers. We're going to get fat for the winter. Oh no you're not, said the troll, because I'm coming to gobble you up. Oh dear. Well you come along then, I've got two spears to poke your eyeballs out your ears. 
I've got as well two curling stones and I'll crush you to bits, body and bones. The troll climbed up onto the bridge. The big billy goat gruff flew at the troll and he butted him with his horns. He tossed him up into the air and kicked him over the side of the bridge. Down, down, down into the deep ravine. Then off he trotted up the mountain to join his brothers. And there, the three billy goat scruff ate the sweet green grass until they got so fat they were hardly able to walk home again. That was a good one, wasn't it? That nasty troll. Man, he got what he deserved, didn't he? The three billy goats gruff. Well, my darlings, I hope you like that story. I'm going to put some videos on for you right now. <laughs>